Welcome back to breakfast. I always get a little bit excited when we do a food segment, but I feel a little bit ripped off today because I don't get to eat anything at the end of this because we are looking at food styling. We're joined by Wendy Berakry, who is a food stylist, which is pretty much more like a makeup artist for food. That's you right. make the food look fabulous mm. in the recipe books, in That's the TV right. ad campaigns, in the print that we see. Mm. So tell me a little bit about your job. What, what does a food stylist job entail? Well, one of the things we have to uh, work on is that the camera is always on, on one side of the food. Yes. So it doesn't matter what's in the back. We just have to make it look nice on one side. Okay. So that when you look at the photograph, you can see everything that's in it. Okay. So it's about making the food look its best without fooling, say, the people who are going to eat right. it. All right. You've got some fancy and fabulous little tricks. How do you make cereal, for example, stay looking fresh and crisp and not soggy? Because when I put milk on my wheat bix at home, they're soggy within a minute. That's right. And so that, that is a problem if you're doing it for food styling, particularly for um, a, um, a still photography. Sure. Because it will ha need to sit there for quite some time. Okay. And when you pour milk in, they all flow over the side. Soggy central. So what have, we, what have you done here to make it look fluffy and crispy still. Well, this is uh, not a very uh, nice product here. This is lard. Oh, is that right? Yes. And um, it's quite good because uh, it, it almost looks like milk anyway. So you sit your cereal on top of the lard. That's right. So you put that in. Any tricks to you? Yes. So <laughs> take all the nice pieces. Oh, when you get open the uh, cereal box at home, they're not all going to be nice big pieces. No. But uh, so you choose yeah. the biggest and the best well, pieces, yes. and you shove it on a bit of lard. Yeah. Hey. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, just keep uh, putting those on. Okay. We don't um, in Australia. We don't do things neat and tidy. No. Well, uh, we don't eat neat and tidy, do we? Mm. Do we? Let's move over to the tortilla. I cook the. I, I make these a lot for the kids at home. Yours looks. So fabulous, I could just chow down one of them now, but the problem, I wouldn't, right? The problem with the tortillas is that when you put, roll them up and uh, put them down on the set, they fall open. Yep. So uh, here's the so How do you stick them to... What is that? Super glue. <laughs> so we're super gluing up a tortilla. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ever had your fingers stuck together? Oh, definitely. Have you? That's one of the... This morning. Of, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> because one of the other things, like... Tell me this then, a tortilla always, you know, I love putting a t tomato on it, but tomato makes the tortilla go soggy. That's Can you right. avoid that? Eat it quickly. Right, okay. And without the super glue. That's right. Okay, well while you continue doing that... So we that, roll it up yeah. and then just run the super glue around the edge like Simple that. Simple as that. And then Here we go, we might give that one to Herman. He's over there on camera three. <laughs> he talks too much. Maybe the glue will seal his lips together. Right, All right, so, so, so that's veggies. Now this looks pretty pretty fab. Um, but well, how do you no, how do you keep them looking so full? Because I often find my veggies wilt and they sink a little bit to the they bottom. They do, and so that's a problem. People uh, looking at a pho photograph need to see that there are those things in there. So. Yes. Uh, I hope there's no food stylist watching this because this is my little secret. Is that right? Mm. There might be a few. So this is plaster of Paris. It's uh, right. set like a rock. Okay. And it fits into your... The base of your bowl. So might just I've got uh, a few different sizes so that uh, if I've got a small bowl I can sit it on there. Okay. And then... you just pop them on top. Yeah. So um, pour a few of those on the, yep. on the top there. And then uh, pour your soup in. Oh. You're hoodwinking us. You no are, aren't way. you? No. no. Fabulous. Look at that. Yeah. A beautiful minister, uh, uh, minestrone soup, say? Yeah. Something so like pour wow. in, Pour in enough so that it half covers your vegetables. That looks fab fabulous. Okay, we've got, I've got to hit you up on the burger. Okay. Because this it's, is almost sacrilegious. This is the one that Making people a burger want to know that's about. inedible. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one that everybody wants to know about. And uh, everybody thinks that it's they're made of plastic, right? But uh, are they? I mean, is this this is this is bread? You can eat this. Yep. Well, yep. I won't. So we have to. Uh, sometimes we have to show that it's actually toasted. But, so you paint um, on the. Just, we might just paint the edge on. Paint little. on the bread. Uh, it's paint mm. on the toasting. We don't need to have it toasted back there because it's. No, we're not going to see it. that. Um, yeah. What are you painting on there? That's coffee. Of, co of course it is a coffee burger. No, it's, well, you know, coffee lovers might like it. Now, this is something we would normally take an hour to do. So okay, well, let's do it in 10 seconds, now, shall we? Sometimes the, uh, the ingredients for the 
uh, the meat is just a little bit too small. Right. So we can open it out like that. Mm, so it looks like a nice full burger. Yeah. Because my burgers fall all over the shop at home. Mm. Well, yes. <laughs> mm, mm. And we can do that with the uh, tomato as well. So and we're basically just cutting a wedge and splitting them open and moving the produce mm. to the front. Okay, let's yes. work on the best. I want to know how you get the cheese to look fabulous and uh. like it's just been melted. Okay, well, the, um, we, this, this is the other trick here. It's because we've put everything to the front. You've got to fill the gap at the well, back. What with? Mashed potato. Oh, so it's edible. Yay. Well, yes. <laughs> sort of. Instant mashed potato. <laughs> um, and... Uh, you can put the cheese on yep. and what we always do is get some hot water, yes, boiling water, and then hold, it, hold that on the edge of the cheese. So it melts down. Mm. Okay, until that's it, a great tip. Until it droops. Okay. Then um, we can put some lettuce on. Fabulous. And normally this takes an hour to do. But oh. the, the thing about a burger is that because you're going to see it up on the menu board, yes. you've got to be able to to see what ingredients are in there. I'd buy so that one. It all has to go to the front, but when you buy it, it everything's going to be in the centre. So well, I think I think that's good enough to eat. In fact, mm. Wendy, mm -hmm. I'm going to take it away. Thank you for joining us today. Pleasure. I reckon this is good enough for Andrew or Paul to eat. I'm just going to wrap so. it over. Thank you for your no time super today. glue. <laughs>